inside the columbarium. It's one of the finest pieces of non-denominational non architecture. You have many different types of people buried here. Um, for example, if you look, there's urns. Behind all these sealed glasses are urns, trinkets, jewelry, artifacts of the past. And we went up to the second story. There's probably another, there's a third story, but if you look, it's an amazing piece. And I'm just taking some EVPs and recordings, but uh, this, is, this is a cemetery. This is a mausoleum with hundreds of people buried within it. And, uh, I mean, you look, uh, for example, look at this architecture right here, okay? Dolls, bubbles, toys, you know? I mean, it's, it's, it's an, I mean, this is a living muse museum of the deceased. I don't know if it's haunted. I know this place is extremely old. I know it's one of the finest pieces of architectures in San Francisco. It's a dome building. And it's full of urns and statues and, and, and it, it, you know, cremations. And, and, and for example, you have Johnson. And you know what's creepy about it is that they have pictures. Like if there's a baby picture and, and, and you know, a box and, and sheets like the Lighthouse Point Santa Cruz um, celebration. And it's... I mean, this is history of people who lived in San Francisco. They died in San Francisco. They made their lives here. Some of them probably survived the 1906 quake, while others, you know, that seen San Francisco being rebuilt, while others died in the 1906 quake. And they are buried here. This is, this is amazing. What do you think? Amazing, huh? It's, this is nothing like I've seen. I see, I, I, I've gone in some of these things. They have trinkets and jewelry and personal pictures in some of the glass cases. But I'm telling you guys, this is an amazing place. And I have nothing but respect. Uh, the stained glass work, the Wetmore and Walden. There's, up there is trophies, it's wine. I mean, it's amazing and you just, you know, there's three stories of this, so we're definitely going to bring you some video and some pictures. Um, and then we're going to check into the hotel on Lombard Street in downtown San Francisco, maybe go to Chinatown for dinner tonight. But we've had a good investigation. We've gone to the Winchester Mansion. Uh, you know, we've gone to the Mount Dolores Mission in Basilica. And this is our third investigation of the day. I'm taking EVPs. I don't know. Uh, if we'll get EMF ratings, but I do know that uh, it's it definitely is a place to explore. We will take photos, and uh, I'll show you a little more. Another casement here, right here, beautiful. I mean, these people's ashes are buried here. You know, you have you have pictures, and and, and this is history. And this is what you know. Ghost hunting is not always about going in a place at night and looking for ghosts. It's about going in these places and spending time with these spirits and these these people. They were once people, and coming here and talking to them and 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 that's what it's about. It's not just about the haunting. It's about honoring the deceased, and it, it's just amazing. And I look forward to spending a good hour here looking at some of the some of the artifacts. Um, and these people. These were once people. In 1982, and it, everything is totally preserved and encased, you know, I mean, there's a stairwell down, and then the stairwell continues to go up to the third floor, so uh, we'll continue the investigation, and then everything, if anything happens strange, we'll definitely get it on film or in our pictures. This is Lord Rick, founder of the Paranormal and Ghost Society.